Hi guys, I'm back with another iMovie tutorial. For this video, I'm going to cover most, if not all, about music or audio in iMovie. I'll show you how to add music, how to add no copyright music, how to cut or slice the audio file, adjust the volume, speed, and the like. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. First things first, if you already have a background music in mind, make sure you have downloaded the audio file. If not, you can look for a no copyright music on YouTube. Simply go to the YouTube studio and click the audio library just below the monetization button. If you choose the music from this library, you will surely not have problems with copyright claims. Too soon to act on it, can we ever be? That all depends on what you're feeling from me Show you all the way Let me show you all the ways oh. Once your background music has been downloaded, you can import your audio file to iMovie. After importing the file, you can just drag and drop it to your sequence. Remember that you can always choose to select a part of a clip by clicking I or O. For a quick refresher in iMovie shortcuts, the link is on the description box. Just like cutting or splitting video clips, you can also split or cut an audio file. If you have an existing video, and you want to use the background music of that particular video, given that it has no copyright issues, you can detach the audio from that clip by simply doing this. There are two ways to adjust the volume. You can adjust using this button, or you can simply drag this up or down. I have been taken by the words that you say. The voice that can Same with altering the video speed, the audio speed can be adjusted using this button. You can speed it up or slow it down by changing this or by dragging this. To create a smooth transition for your audio files, you can do a fade in or fade out. Just drag the tip of your audio file towards the center. If you drag from the beginning of the clip, it will create a fade-in effect. If you drag from the end of the audio clip, it will create a fade-out effect. Adding sound effects to your videos will surely up your editing game. It will enhance the overall result and will give an extra oomph and character to your video. But choosing the right sound effects can make or break your video. If you're looking to record a pro-sounding audio output, iMovie might not be enough for that. You can use a different software such as GarageBand to achieve that. But if you only want to record a simple voiceover just like this, you can do it in iMovie. Just click this button, then start recording. And that's it! I hope you got something from this short tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.